Johannes said the community has been monitoring the strike closely, but until now Shoprite has not addressed the plight of the workers, and this is what led to the community's decision to close the store. The store was closed at 11 o'clock in the morning. When NBC News team arrived at Shoprite, there were no supervisors or managers inside. A local activist said the decision by Shoprite to hire seasonal workers while employees are on strike is unfair. Decided to lock uh, uh, Shoprite, and uh, until now it is closed until tomorrow. So our demand is that if Shoprite is to continue operating, maybe those that are not in support of the strike can continue assisting inside, but we will not allow that they that they uh, allow system workers to do the job of these people. Imagine a person that has worked or, or for 12 months, but you are still getting 1,200. Uh, 1,200 is not even informed by the economical uh, status of, of our country at the moment because they cannot, they cannot meet the demands of, 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 of a living standard. So we want ShopRite to sit with the workers' union and, and, and come to a common ground where the, the salary that they are going to offer the people is speaking to the current economic situation. Johannes is urging other communities countrywide to stand by the striking workers, likening the way ShopRite treats its employees to exploitation which could be stopped. We are thankful for the community that came and to sympathize and uh, to stand together with us because I think they are feeling the punch and the pain of our brothers and sisters that are being mistreated by ShopRite. And we call upon the government, we call upon the councillors, we call upon the president to come and, and assist us so we can finish this negotiation and our brothers and sisters can go back to work. Sumep ShopRite employs close to 100 employees. Kariya Kawari, NBC News, Sumep.